Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface and pretty massive news has just dropped as regards to potentially the future of the MCU going forward. And as much as the ankle biters hate that phrase, one of the reasons why they hate it the most is because it's true. Uh, ever since Phase 3 ended, ever since they wrapped up the uh, old gems from Thanos... Uh, the whole MCU has fallen apart and become the MCU. Phase 4 was literally a dissection of what had come before it. The great male characters, and there were good female characters too, but the great male characters that the franchise had, they tried to just tear down, emasculate, replace with female counterparts who didn't in any capacity uh, connect with the audience, and I'm talking in cinematic way or in a comic book way. Because the characters that they tried to replace them with have failed over and over and over again within the comics. All new, all Marvel, all fail. To the degree that they had to bring everybody back. Unlikable characters that went through no arcs whatsoever. They started off amazing and they continued to be amazing and they ended... You're never going to believe this. Even more amazing. You see, because women in this MCU can't be seen as actually normal people. We get called ists, phobes. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. It does. It just makes me laugh because the people who defend this shit, the people who go, oh, you're a misogynist. You're, you're a this. You're a white supreme. You're all that. The projection levels are absolutely off the charts. Particularly when it comes to women. We love women. We love our strong women. And I, and I don't mean current day strong women. We like our take charge women. We like our women who know what they're doing. But we like our women to be human. To have the same uh, flaws and failings as anyone else would. But they're not allowed to in the MCU. They have to be seen as these, these perfect beings. And, and they... they write them like absolute knobheads oh down with toxic masculinity so what we're going to do is we're going to replace it with toxic femininity not that toxic masculinity even exists it's just masculinity that they're scared of and so we saw everything we saw black widow useless film lost money we saw the stunning and brave eternals where everything was completely race changed, sex changed, sexuality changed from Jack Kirby. Why? Because Kevin Feige himself said, we took a more ambiguous group of people so we, in essence, could fuck it up, could fuck around with it, could do what we wanted with it. Because the, the normies out there, they won't really know who these characters are. And he is correct, mind you. So we can race change, sexuality change, gender change, all that kind of stuff. Because it pushes our progressive message. And the progressive message is, uh, we hate men. That's the progressive message. And you could add to that, particularly, we hate white men. Because we're seeing it all over the place. Chibnall. At Doctor Who openly admits now, now that he's been fired, now that he's out, openly admitted that one of the reasons why he destroyed the foundations of Doctor Who was to try and get rid, to tarnish the white male history of Doctor Who. The fact that the Doctor had been white males throughout its inception in 63 or whatever it was. That's what. That's how repugnant these people are. That's not progression, that's regression. And we have source material just spat on. Spat on so that a partisan political ideology can be pushed. Not because it's for the betterment of the character, not because it's for the betterment of the franchise, and not because it's for the betterment of what the audience want to see. Oh no, not that whatsoever. It's for the betterment of their own ideology. And Victoria Alonso was a massive preponderant of that. When she was behind John Favreau, 
in the early Iron Man films, where she was producing there, and for all intents and purposes, did a great job. Because back in those days, of course, ideology, like we see today, wasn't rampant. The world hadn't lost its collective mind. Men could be men, women could be women. Men could be masculine, women could be feminine. Oh my God. And in 2023, that's a fucking controversial statement. Look in the mirror. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? But the problem was when the ideology took over from what is best for the universe, best for the characters, and most importantly, best for its audience, we got phase four. We got Shang Na, who was a backseat driver in his own film again to his sister, to Aquafina. He didn't have any agency, but I thought the film was dog shit anyway. Doctor Strange, once again. Sorry, Doc. No, no, no. This is an actual Wanda film. This is a uh, America Chavez film. You're just along for the ride, mate. You don't even get that. Black Captain Falcon Winter Soldier fucking Black Captain Falcon Black. On Disney Plus. Getting profiled in the projects. <laughs> Can't get a loan for his sister to buy a boat. Because they're black seas. But we see Ant-Man in the latest Ant-Man film. Book tours. Massive superstar. Goes into shops. You don't have to pay. You save the universe, mate. But poor Captain Black Falcon, Black Captain Black Falcon, Captain Black Captain Fa Black Captain Black Falcon. Oh no, because victimization. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm up against the machine. Everyone's so racist. Nobody wants to. Nobody wants to watch this shit. Oh my God. John Walker killed a terrorist who was part of a group of terrorists that murdered people. And then just murdered his best friend in front of his eyes. But John Walker killed that terrorist. But we got to start by not calling them terrorists and senator. Uh, you got to do better. But I've got to actually move to you because you're male. And I was talking to a female. But I can't say to a female do better because women, they're just the best. Because MCU. And their TV projects. What's coming up on Disney Plus? Or what was coming up on Disney Plus? Agatha fucking Harkness. Who cares? Oh, you see the actress, she did this in one episode. And so we gave her her own TV show. Who the fuck cares? Then what do we got? Echo. Uh, the story about a mute one-legged woman who was leading a gang of <laughs> simps. Just didn't make a lick of sense. Who, of course, had uh, uh, kicked Hawkeye's ass because, you know, Hawkeye couldn't be the hero again of his own show. No, that had to be Kate. Emasculate, emasculate, emasculate. Wham and get things done. 95 pound stringy pieces of shit. Get things done. Believe. Believe all women. And then what? The coup de gras. Woo! The coup de gras. Two things. Number one, Black Panther, Wakanda forever. Uh, no Black Panther. For 90% of the film, 95% of the film. Two and three quarter hours long. Boring as fuck, dog shit. But you can't criticize it. You can't criticize it, you see, because the, the, the ethno state in Marvel, that's a big thumbs up, apparently. Because it's the right ideology. But in practical, in reality, if that existed in awkward, and of course, because of the tragic passing of Chadwick Boseman, who came across as a fucking dude, really cool guy, really nice guy, we, we get their fast track to, Siri, get, uh, to Shuri getting into the costume. And then the second flip on that, let's now create a TV show for Ironheart. What should we bring in with that? Ironheart, fake fucking Iron Man, Rewee Williams, 
15 year old genius oh my god let's put her in black panther wakanda forever why because uh she got the right melanin level so let's just chuck them all in shall we how fucking racist is that look in the mirror but what happens with her 15 years old oh her origin uh i was told that i couldn't be as good as tony stark after bullying my teacher who said i could do anything i wanted i could put my mind to do anything i wanted to We're trying to at least do something positive for her students when she was a kid no after she bullied a teacher because a teacher wasn't making her a fucking victim into saying well i don't know uh, you'll never be as good as tony stark suddenly oh my god bestest genius ever 15 years old create an art reactor iron man oh my god So she gets her own show, dog shit character, dog shit in the film. Oh, let's let who should we cast with it? It's 2023, so we can't just cast normal people. No, uh, she's gonna have a bestie drag queen, but don't call them female. Don't call, sorry, don't call them male, because now we're in the age of the female penis. Of course, don't worry about that. And uh, then let's also cast uh, uh, an uh, an androgynous. Uh, Australian actress who's female but goes by he them pronouns and is just one of these confused bundles of fuck that's going on on TikTok that's put there to shroom kids because at the Glad Awards Victoria Alonso went on an insane insane rant about the don't say gay bill you know which of course wasn't I read that whole section what the bill was saying was no sexuality which includes heterosexuality just leave kids alone but that's not the marvel way that's not the disney way no 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 gotta get them early gotta get the hooks in gotta get them confused with identity politics gotta make their minds fried about who they are what they are and then you see they're very malleable after that very open to abuse and hollywood is full of it absolutely head to fucking toe and this bint right here she was all part of that crew oh yes oh yes stories that were for everyone regardless of your color your gender male or female because there's only two your sexuality stories that just anyone could watch love enjoy suddenly oh no we now need our stories told. What does our stories told mean? Oh, it means you push towards an identitarian position. You push it and you force it in an, into an identitarian position. Our stories, exclusion, exclusion, exclusion. The people that, pre, pre, uh, that uh, preach progressive, uh, progressivism are actually regressive, 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 regressive. Let's just have a couple of looks at some numbers to wrap this up. This is uh, this is the Phase Five movie that's just come out: Marvel, Ant Man, Antifa Man, and the Commie Mania. Worldwide, it's sitting fifty-five million behind the first Ant Man in twenty fifteen. Massive budget, much inflated budget. On top of that, it's not even going to pass worldwide the first Ant Man movie never mind even get anywhere close to the second this movie is gonna this movie needs to make in somewhere in the region of about 600 million to break even this movie is gonna lose at least 100 million at least 100 million absolute the movie dog shit dog shit here look at it here look at the box office this is its domestic just died you know, 106 million opening weekend. Died. Boo. 70 million. 70, 70 million. 70% 70 week one drop. 60% on top of that week two drop. Another 44% on top of that week three drop. And another 41% on top of that week five. These drop offs. Crap. Absolute crap. Phase four crap the movies the tv crap now bob Iger said well you know we're going to start concentrating now on quality 
Well, you know, this is infectious. This is Shazam. This is Shazam. Shazam. 30 million for its opening weekend. Dog shit. Because people are sick and tired. First of all, there is absolutely no reason to invest in this movie. Now that uh, James Gunn's taken over the DCU and he's going to ruin that because he just wants to do everything he wants to do. And again, he's not thinking about the audience. He's thinking about himself. So he's a fucking narcissistical dick, just like everyone else. But people are sick and tired of being force-fed fucking swill. Now, not all of the MCU Phase 1 movies hit, you know? But the quality of them, certainly comparison tonight, And those, that Iron Man 1, amazing film. Absolutely amazing film, that first Iron Man. Captain America, First Avenger. Really uh, underrated movie, that is, as well. Great. So, Thor, that was a pretty decent movie. But that's when characters were allowed to be characters. That's when uh, things could naturally happen that would in the real world. But now, of course, we can't have women wanting men. We can't have women uh, being trained by when men. We can't have men being seen as stronger is all just fucking shite and it's not just victoria alonso it's kevin feige he needs to fuckity buy as well and if you really want to bring the mcu back instead of the mcu and this is a first step in that direction good but if this is just a scapegoat and then you put somebody and you were uh, just as bad or you continue down the same progressive route then you're going to be fucked anyway so don't care so this is a win-win for us either way because if they don't change it's going to fucking fall in on itself anyway and if they do change that can only be for the betterment of us fuck this woman fuck kevin feige fuck the mcu i'll see you in the next video take care bye for now